Hi there smart monks and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. This is my little platform where I turn struggling math students into math masters and I post videos weekly. So subscribe and turn on the notification button if you want to know when I post any new videos. So in this video, I'm going to be focusing on rectangles and we're going to learn how to calculate area and perimeter of rectangles. So first, I'm just going to explain to you what area and perimeter is and then quick and easy ways to calculate area and perimeter for rectangle questions. I will also make a worksheet available so that you can actually practice what we've done because maths and learning math is only really complete once you actually practice it on your own and you'll find that in the description box below. If it's not there, please give me some time. I am working on it and I'm working on the platform for where you can get it. So I will add in the YouTube community page when those are ready. So without further ado, let's start this video. Hello there, grade 8, and welcome to this video on area and perimeter of rectangles. Right, so this falls under measurement and we've covered squares already, so now we're going to look at rectangles. Okay, again, I want to start by making sure that you understand the definitions of the two. Perimeter is when you are calculating the outer edges of a two-dimensional shape and is measured in standard units. So in other words, if I were to take a rectangle and I'm going to add all four sides together, just the lengths of the outside sides, that is then my perimeter. If this is in centimeters, then that means my final answer will also just be in centimeters. Right, so that's perimeter. The second section we're looking at is area. So area is the entire space that the shape takes up. So the inside of the shape, essentially, and is measured in units squared. So again, if I have a rectangle, area is the entire space. And let's say the measures are in centimeters, then your answer will be in centimeters squared. If the lengths are given in meters, then your answer is going to be meters squared. So perimeter, outside lengths added together, the units stays the same as the question. The area calculates the entire space a shape takes up, and the answer of that will be whatever units the sides and the dimensions are in to the power of 2. Okay, but this will be more clear when we actually do the example. So let's look at what the formula looks like. Okay, so if I look at perimeter of a rectangle now, then the perimeter would mean I'm just going to add the lengths, the outside sides together. So I'm going to say length, which is always the longer side, plus breadth, plus length, plus breadth. Right? Or you can say length times 2 plus breadth times 2. Both of these formulas will give you the same answer. Right? So if I were to calculate the perimeter of this specific question, then all I'm going to do is I'm going to say, Perimeter is equal to 18 plus 8 plus 18 plus 8. Okay, um, and that will give me 52 centimeters. So I literally am saying 18 plus 8, 18 plus 8. Or what you could have done is say 18 multiplied by 2 plus 8 multiplied by 2. And your answer is also 52. All right, then if we're looking at the area, so the area is fairly simple. All you have to do to calculate the entire space that a rectangle takes up is by saying length multiplied by breadth, right? So in this case, it's 18 multiplied by 8, and that will give me 144 centimeters squared. Okay, so that's how you calculate perimeter, and that's how you calculate area. So let's do a few more examples. So this question says the length and the width of the rectangle is 15 meters and 20 meters. Calculate the perimeter and the area. Okay. So when we're calculating the perimeter, we're going to say length multiplied by 2 and breadth multiplied by 2 because that is our formula. Okay, the length, we usually always take the longest, the, the bigger number, and the breadth or the width is 15, right? So we go 20 multiplied by 2 is 40, and then 15 multiplied by 2 is 30, and 40 plus 30 then gives me 70 meters. Take note here that um, my unit is the same unit that the question is in, and I leave it as is. Okay, if I now want to calculate the area of this rectangle, in other words, what is the entire space that this rectangle takes up, I'm going to say length times breadth, which is then 20 multiplied by 15, and I end up with 300 meters squared. Okay, so this meters is squared because I'm calculating area. 
Right, so this is just an example where the diagram or the image is not given. If you find it helpful to draw it on the side for yourself in pencil and then um, fill it in and then calculate it, by all means, you're welcome to do that. Okay, now the second one, it says the perimeter of a rectangle is 380 centimeters. If the length of the rectangle is 150 centimeters, calculate the width of a rectangle and the area. Okay, so here in this question, they already calculated the perimeter and they're telling you that the perimeter is 380. And that the length of one of the sides is 150 centimeters. So what they want you to what they want to know is what is the other side of the rectangle and what is the area. Okay, so I know this sounds a little complicated, but just bear with me. Yeah. So what you're going to do is again you start off with your formula, right, and you fill in the information that you do know. So let me explain what's happening here. The perimeter here, do you see, is 380. This is given in the question. This is length times 2. Now already we know that length is given in the question also is 150 multiplied by 2. Then we have 2 times breadth, which we don't quite know what it is yet. This is what we need to calculate. So if we simplify this 152 times 2, then we end up with 300. Right? So we have 380 is equal to 300 plus 2b. Now this becomes an equation. So you're going to try and solve for b. So first you're going to take the 300 over, you're going to subtract the 300, right? So that's going to be the 380 minus the 300, and that will give you your 2b. Okay, go over my equations video if you're not sure quite how what is happening here. But I've taken this 300, I take it over, and that gives me 380 minus 300, which is 2b, Okay. Which, if I simplify that, 380 minus 300 gives me the 80 there. Okay, now I just need to find B, but I have a 2 in front, so I'm going to again do the opposite on the other side. So I'm going to divide by 2. Right, so 80 divided by 2, and I've got 2B over 2, and that means that B is equal to 40 centimeters. Okay, so what have I just calculated? So the longer side is 150 centimeters, and the shorter side of this rectangle is 40 centimeters. In this question, the perimeter was given, and you then had to calculate the one length. And this is the method that you'll use to calculate that one length. If you didn't quite get it, I'll suggest that you rewind it and just watch it two or three times. Eventually, you'll see that this will make sense to you. Okay, now, now the question, the second part of the question, they ask you to calculate the area. Okay, but now we've already know the, le the, the length because it's in the question and we've just calculated the breadth. So we're just going to say 150 multiplied by the 40 and that will then give us 6,000 centimeters squared. Not forgetting that our units needs to be squared because we are calculating area. Okay, now let's move over to the third example. Right, the area of a rectangle is 6278 centimeters squared. Right, this is the last example. Calculate the length and the perimeter of the rectangle if the width is 73 centimeters. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to substitute in the values that you know. Right, they've given us the area, and then we have length times, which is the 73 that they also gave you. Right, so now what we want to do is obviously if length times 73 equals that, then that divided by 73, which is the opposite will then give me my length, which is then 86 centimeters. Again, this is just the application of our equations, okay? We want to calculate the length, so we take this over, and what if we take it over, we do the opposite. All right, then that is 86. Now we are ready to calculate the perimeter, because it's length multiplied by 2 and breadth multiplied. And that will give us 318 centimeters squared. Okay. Now I want to give you an exercise that I want you to try. Remember, you only actually see how much you understand when you try and do something by yourself. Okay, so I'm going to give you this ex exercise now. I'm going to ask you to answer these questions based on what I've just taught you now and see how well you do and then um, unpause it and, and I'll go through the answers with you and you can see if you got it correct or not. Okay, so pause this video here. All right, so let's look at your answers. Okay, so the, for the first rectangle, the perimeter is 8.45, 
times 2 plus 2.2 .2 times 2, and that will give you 21.3 meters. The area is then 8.45 multiplied by 2.2, .2 and your answer will be 18.59 meters squared. Remember, check, you use, check that you're using the right formula, that you're putting in the values in the correct places, and that you're also getting the units correct. Okay, for 1.2, the perimeter, 8875.25 times 2, plus 208 times 2, and that will give us 2190.50 meters. And then also, if you take those two values for the area and multiply them with each other, you end up with 184,548 meters squared. Okay, so I hope you I hope you're getting these questions right. Next one, here we were given the area, which was 2,400, and we were given one of the lengths, which is 30. Okay, so if you add it, technically we always use the longer one for the length. However, if you use it at a different place instead of putting it by length you put it by breadth it doesn't matter because we are multiplying okay so it doesn't matter um in in these questions where you place them okay so here i take this over and i divide it by 30 and that will give me my breadth is then um 80 in fact uh, my length actually is 80 centimeters there okay then let's look at the perimeter now that we have our length We've got 30 multiplied by 2 plus 80 multiplied by 2. Again, if you put the 80 here and you put the 30 there, that's completely fine. You will still get the same answer. And here your answer is 220 centimeters. So take note here, I'm just giving the unit because this is perimeter. Here also just the unit because this is just the length of one side. Only the answer, which is the area, is to the power of 2. Okay, then last question. Let's see how you did. The perimeter for this question is given and it was 260, right? And then one side, which was 90 times 2, right? And this you have to say plus 2B. And then if I simplify this, this will give me 180. If I move it over, it becomes 260 minus 160. And then I end up with 80 equals to 2B. But remember, we're looking just for B, so we divide both sides by 2, and therefore B equals 40 centimeters. So your answer for this one had to be 40 centimeters. I would suggest if you're struggling with this, to attempt the question over and over and over until you can come back and actually have the correct answer and try and identify where you're going wrong. Okay, last one. Area then is length times breadth, and we now know that the one length was 90 and the one was 40, so we just multiply those by each other, because this is the entire space that this rectangle takes up, and that will give me 3,600 centimeters squared. Okay, and that is rectangles, area, and perimeter. Perimeter, the outside lengths added together, area, the entire space that shape takes up, when I calculate my perimeter, I make sure that my answers unit is the units that is in the question. And then for area, I make sure that the answer is always squared, right? If they give me the area or if they give me the perimeter, I then have to use the properties of equations to then solve the unknown side. And that concludes our video on area and perimeter for rectangles. All right. There's that video, hopefully you found it helpful and that you feel confident about calculating area and perimeter for rectangles. If you did like it, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you can please um, add any comments or any questions you have in the comment section below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. So thank you so much for, we for watching and for supporting my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.